Good evening students welcome to Vijeta IS Academy this is Muhammad Sahbaz Khan your faculty of economics at this academy i have more than 6 years of experience into teaching and mentoring of civil service examination aspirant as per my credential i have done master of finance and control on side i have also done post graduate diploma in business finance so in this video this today discussion i'll try to explain the phenomena which is related to the fiscal policies of the government this phenomena or this effect is known as crowding out effect this crowding out effect is related with or i would say in other words is the consequence of the fiscal policies performed by the government what happened when the government is in need of cash or the need of the government arises due to fiscal deficit here the fiscal deficit come into the scene this is what total revenue minus total expenditure of the government so this is related to the government budgeting as this budgeting is a household phenomena every household exactly budget its expenditure and income so does the government so the government also plan or the budget and this is also the budget exactly the session the interim budget is being announced by the government so this happened exactly what when the government's expenditure is more than its income it leads to the deficit this deficit is to be augmented by the government or this deficit is to be filled by the government through different sources first the government can resort to the borrowing from the rbi itself which is done by a uh, instrument called ways and mean advances or the government call also borrow from international financial institutions such as imf and world bank or the government can also go to the public and which is called the open market operation omo this omo is nothing but selling and buying of the government security or the treasury bill so when the government in order to augment its deficit resort to this open market operation so this is done into the this open market operation is a public borrowing program in this open market operation the government or i would say the rbi on the behalf of the government issue gsec which is government security or gilt age securities and the treasury bill to manage the finances of the government when the government release or issue this instrument in the market this is what the publics or the different financial institutions buy this gsec or this securities in doing so the government suck extra money which was there into the economy at its hand to managers finances so it's what happened let's say the example this is an economy if any economy let's say the indian economy it has a constant supply of money or i would say there are different measurement of the money supply fine m1 m2 n3 will not discussing this this is what there is a constant supply or the money supply into the economy i would say let's example for this is 1000 crore and this much money into the economy fine and rbi knows it the government knows it now when this government resort to open market operation by issuing this treasury bill and gsec into the market so this way this open market operation through this way the government sucks let's say the government release this security to the tune of 400 crores this 400 crores comes out of the systems 
This means 1000 crore minus 400 crores. The economy is left with only 600 crores. So now the 600 crore exactly everything in the economy depends upon the demand and supply. So and what happened earlier the supply of the money in the economy was 1000 crore. Fine now the supply of the money has reduced which is 600 crore. Now what would happen generally the apply the simple logic. Fine this is what when the supply reduced it leads to but the demand is constant. It means it will lead to what exactly in this case the fund become costlier. Anything which is in scarce it has a more price you might find in a general parallels find everything is in rare you might find that things are costly. So here what happened again this funds become let's say earlier when this money was 1000 crore this fund was let's say for this repo rate exactly the interest rate 10% but because of this on this fund now this cost of the fund has increased to 12% now at this moment the cost this the cost of this fund or this money is become become dearer they have become costlier into the economy so in that case the small enterprises or the investors found it difficult to borrow from the financial institutions or divert its plan or defer its plan to the further date when the interest will become normalized so because of this what happened lots of investors or the businessmen defer their business decision and they don't set up their business fine so because of this it discouraged the private investment into the economy fine so this exactly phenomena this crowding out where the government has sucked the extra money supply from the economy and out of this what is left it has become costly and now this costly fund has become difficult for the investors to get it borrowed from banks and further invest in the economy and through this way it restrict the saving and investment cycle into the economy so this is exactly or this is why another opposite of this is crowding in phenomena of the government pull extra money into the economy so this is about crowding out effect or the phenomena which is the outcome of the fiscal policy of the government when the government experience high fiscal deficit in the economy so so stay tuned with more such lectures Thank you.